Brothers and sisters, put yourself in the place of our loving Creator and Father, Yahuwah. Put yourself in His place, looking down on what He has created and what we are doing with it. How do you think He really feels? He's not stupid like us. He's always had a backup plan. One thing though, He always lets us know what's happening. He lets us know what's going down. He keeps us in the loop. Take, for example, he created the heavens, the angels, or the servants, knowing, of course, that one of them was going to be a dud. How did he know that? Because he knows everything. Hello? He knows everything. That's the type of being we are dealing with. Hello? We are too proud to know because we don't believe it. We think that there can't possibly be somebody out there like that. I'm sorry to tell you that there is. You can know him too. He loves everybody, especially those who will listen and live by his commandments, live by the way he tells us. Yahuwah then created this wonderful earth, pristine it was. There were all sorts of animals, bugs, fish, birds, insects, which were all designed to keep the earth that way, pristine. Everything was in the order that Yahuwah put it in. Did you know that? He had everything in a particular order, and it was marvellous. Yes, it was marvellous. M-A-R-V-E-L-L-O-U-S. Marvellous it was. The next crazy thing he does is grab a bunch of dirt. He then makes man and woman from it, but with a free will to choose stuff. Uh-huh. A backup plan. He knows that that dirtbag, Satan, in his jealousy, wants to destroy everything. Everything he has made. I mean, what a loser. Satan is such a loser. He is such a loser. Don't pay attention to Satan. He is a loser. Yahuwah gives man and woman one rule. This rule was to keep everything in pristine order. If they break the rule... Death and destruction would come on them and the earth. But knowing man and his free will, Satan came along and spun a bunch of lies and man despised the rule. What about that? Man started to despise the rule. It wasn't as though he didn't know Yahuwah, did he? Man used to walk with him every day. Adam and Kawhi used to walk with Yahuwah every day. In the cool of the day, they knew Yahuwah. And yet Satan was so easy, it was so easy for him to turn them against one little rule. The father had to stick to the rule. He had to stick to the rule and dish out the punishment because it came with the deal. From that time on, men have been dying and the earth had started to be polluted, causing widespread damage. The father, in his loving kindness, understood where a free will would take men. So in comes his backup plan. He's always got a backup plan. Yahuwah is marvellous, marvellous. He's got a backup plan all the time. Man and woman had to be cleansed from the foul beverage. Hey, hey, shush, shush. Keep it down. Man and woman had to be cleansed from the foul beverage he had ingested, i.e. the language of lies. They had taken in the language of lies, which had destroyed their immortality. Did you realise that Adam and Kawar were eternal? There was, no, there was no time there. They were going to live forever. But when they sinned, they broke it. They weren't immortal anymore. Death came into the earth. To restore men and women's immortality, Yahuwah had to sacrifice and shed the blood of an unblemished lamb. Just by being obedient to this rule, man would eventually receive back his immortality at the given time. Man would rise up from the grave. A judgment, however, cannot be stopped. But Yahuwah can do something different. Because remember, Yahuwah can do anything. <laughs> Man had to live with the fact of what he had brought upon the following generations and the fact that they would have to die first, then wait in the ground and eventually be restored to eternal life. Because Yahuwah has a plan, remember? So you can see how Yahuwah, way back then, introduced the way of salvation, the way of deliverance, through the sacrifice of the Lamb. Also, we can see who that Lamb is today. The Lamb 
message, the Lamb message, has been infused into the mindset of Scripture throughout the centuries until it has progressively manifested into Yahushua Messiah, who is our Deliverer and who actually is Yahuwah in the flesh. There's only one. It's not three, not one, two, three, two. There's only one. One. Yahuwah. He took on flesh and was known as Yahushua. Still one. The Lamb of the Father who dies for the sins of the world. So you know the story from Adam to Noah. The disobedience to Yahuwah's instruction had become so bad that Noah and his family were the only ones left who believed. Every other person on the face of the earth was laced with evil and had to be destroyed. Prophecy of the scripture says it will be the same in the last days. And that's the days we're in now. Just like the days of Noah. Everybody is laced with evil. Laced with evil. Yahuwah manifested his power to Israel, y'all. He manifested it by bringing them from the land of bondage to the mountain where he rested in a great frightening power. There he gave Moshe a new set of rules for us to live by. These rules would cleanse our hearts and minds of all the lies. You know, reset our mindset. Customer, you must push refresh on the keyboard. Must push refresh to cleanse your mind. Must push refresh button. Must push button, button, button. Yes, yes. Must push refresh. These rules are, of course, the Ten Commandments, the everlasting covenant. Get it? Everlasting. The covenant is everlasting. Not to be changed. Not like the Catholics have in their mangulated version of the Torah. It's not to be changed. Get it? Do not change the Torah. Yahuwah loves us so much, brothers and sisters. He loves us so much and wants us not to be locked up by Satan. So if we live by Yahuwah's rules, we beat Satan. We beat him. And we will eventually receive eternal life. This is the Father's plan. To be with the ones who choose, remember, free will, the ones who choose him. Anyway, this is all about the first commandment. And the first commandment is, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. And an Elohim is, a, is the Hebrew word for mighty one, or G-O-D, as the population calls him now, which is offensive to him, hates it. So, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, or Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Now here comes the first rule. Are you ready? It's not hard, but very simple. You have no other mighty ones, and you know what a mighty one is, a G-O-D, you don't bow before anything else. Have no other mighty ones against my face. Have no other mighty ones against my face. Have no other mighty ones against my face. If you're not worshipping Yahuwah, you are worshipping lies. You have set up satanic rituals, satanic pagan customs. Have no others before my face. Yeah? Now let me ask you a few questions, brothers and sisters. One, how many people do you know that know that the real name of the Father is Yahuwah? Yahuwah. And two, how many people are disobeying the first commandment by worshipping other deities, other mighty ones, other G.O.D.s, apart from Yahuwah? Scripture says, because in him were created all that is in the heavens and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or rulerships or principalities or authorities. All have been created through him and for him. And he is before all and in him all hold together. In him. He is the master planner. He is everything. It's all about him. The creator of the heavens and the earth. All other G.O.D.s are false. Made from the imaginations of men. Worshipping other mighty ones will send you crackers. Absolutely crackers, love. 
So when you have a global peak, have a peak at the globe, how many people are breaking the first commandment? How many are drinking from the cup of unrighteousness? Would you say that writhing humanity is manifesting a similar behaviour to the time of Noah, just before the flood came? It came and destroyed them. If you ignore the Father's direction for you, you will have the same mentality as Satan, insanity. Get this word out there to your friends and tell them that the end is coming. I'm not saying stand there with a billboard on you saying the end is coming and make an idiot of yourself. But tell people, and they have a choice. This is not religion. This is not Christianity. We don't Bible bash. We don't go knocking on doors and causing trouble because we realize that Yahuwah is the one that draws people. Yahusha draws people out of their madness. So he does all the work. He is the only one. You cannot change another person's mind about one thing. Not one thing. So why are you trying to? The whole internet is filled with people arguing to each other. Oh, I don't agree with that. I'm offended. I'm offended. I don't like that. I'm going to get you. I don't like it. No, that, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. I'm going to get... Ooh, where's the scripture that proves that wrong? Ooh, it's not right. Stop being so offended. Stop being punces. Come into the love. Get over everything. Come into the love. You can't change anybody's mind about anything. You just have to be locked in to Yahuwah's will for your day. And if he's going to draw somebody out of the world, he'll, he'll make it known to you. And you do what you're told. You can't change anybody's mind. But I wanted to bring your attention to the first commandment today, brothers and sisters. The first commandment. I am Yahuwah your Elohim, have no other mighty ones before my face. Because I brought you out of bondage. I'm bringing you out of bondage, he says. If you feel like you are in bondage, if you are locked up in a jail cell, you can't con work out, you have to you go to sleep and you wake up with your, your earphones on to drown out the thoughts that are attacking you all day, every day. That's Satan. He talks to you in the first person. And he laughs at you because you're too stupid to realize that the thoughts are him. Come out of the insanity, brothers and sisters. Yahusha is drawing you out. I'm not going to try and draw you out. I'm just telling you the truth. If you disagree with me or you poo-poo it, I don't agree with that. No, my pastor doesn't say that. Well, so be it. So be it. But I love you, brothers and sisters. You love, you love the brothers and sisters? Yeah, you're not on camera. Nobody can see you. I just want to let you know that Yahusha loves you. Yahuwah, your creator, loves you. And he doesn't want you manifesting that wicked beverage. That don't be drinking of that cup of abominations. Find out. Get your hands on a copy of Fossilized Customs. Fossilized Customs. F-O-S-S-I-L-I-Z-E-D-C-U-S-T-O-M-S. Fossilizedcustoms.com. On and get the answers that you want. The whole world is asleep. Just like that movie, The Matrix, everybody's plugged in, they're asleep. So get unplugged and come into the real life. That's enough for me today. Thank you, brothers and sisters. So be it. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you got? A turtle? <laughs> Teenage mutant and the turtle. Bye bye. Every time you sit on my leg, you stink. Yeah. Did you do a poo in your pants? Yeah. Are you happy about it? Yeah. Yeah. This is becoming the theme of my videos. Not Yahusha, but poo. You boys are bringing the poo in. You don't want the poo? Yuck. Yuck. Tell them me. Okay. Say bye-bye. 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 See that little dot up there with the light on it? Say bye-bye. Bye bye. Say, I love you, Husha. I love you. I love you, Hua. Okay, fair enough. Okay, see ya.